Good morning. Yeah, welcome to uh, Tropical Day in Bowie. In Bowie. Yeah. How are you today? I'm good. How about yourself? Good to see you again. Good you to see too. you. Uh, <sighs> well, welcome. You want to? I, I know you know most of us. Would you, you want to introduce yourself to the council? Yes. Hi. I'm Denise Tyler, resident of Bowie, um, for over the last 15 years and um, excited and nervous to be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well what we're gonna do this morning is just a friendly conversation. We're gonna, each council member will have a question for you. Um, you'll have 15 minutes from the time the questions begin to you know, answer the questions and, and um, respond as you seem appropriate. Uh, I would suggest to you that uh, 15 minutes can, can go by quickly. Um, so time management per answer is, is, is your, your, your role, your discipline. Um, but, um, like I say, um, we'll just ask some questions and try, try to get a sense of uh, how you are, what you do, what you bring to the thing. Um, uh, all the, so you should know that all of the activity this morning is recorded, uh, so that after, at the conclusion of all the interviews, uh, it'll go out on Bowie Cable TV as our ongoing matter of being completely and totally transparent about everything that we do. Um, with that, uh, I'll start with the questions of who's first on this one, it's uh, Dr. Trout. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Ms. Tyler, for uh, coming before us to, uh, to interview for the District 3 position. My question is, what do you think is the most important issue in Bowie, and how do you plan to make improvements? Well, I think that, um, and I, and Sorry, I might, my little introduction, I guess I didn't do my full introduction on uh, why I'm here, but I think one of the important issues, or the one, most important issue here in Bowie is, is um, connecting the services that we do with our, with our constituency and ensuring that um, the policies that we're creating um, are positively affecting uh, the constituency and um, the concerns and I think that um, as the elected uh, officials that we're in a unique position because um, we have to think of, of, of the bigger picture as growth and, and that sort of thing and, and how that's going to impact the constituency in which we serve. So that for me is, is um, one of the, um, a big issue, um, you don't, you know, people are fairly, uh, seem to be fairly happy and love living in Bowie. I love living in Bowie. Um, we have issues of, of growth and, and that sort of thing. So I, I think those issues, if we take the constituency in consideration, I, I think that, that it's good. Thank you. Mr. Gordon. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, Ms. Tyler, for coming out this very cold morning. Yes. It's good to see you. Uh, Ms. Tyler, my question to you this morning, or my statement, it is, it is my opinion that local government is the most important level of government. Tell me, do you agree with me or do you disagree? And explain why. Okay. Um. When you say most important yes. level of government, um, I would say that it is an important level of government. Um, but for, us, uh, for you as a city council person, <laughs> the most important level of government is, is the city council. I think local government is, um, is important. And one of the things that I've done in my um, experience is kind of educate uh, the constituency on how uh, important it is to be involved in local government over uh, national government and you know looking at voters being involved in elections and that sort of thing um, voter education is important because we tend to look 
more on the national level than we do on the local level. And, you know, the local level is the important level of um, government because that's where everything happens. That's where it affects um, our lives. So I think it's important that we have the relationships with the other points of, of government. It's very important. The county serves a, an important role in the local government, but as a, as a city, um, sitting body, um, we have um, we have an important role, and it's important that we use that role and we work as a team. I'm a kind of team player person, and so I think that um, the levels of government should be interacting and working together, you know, to embedder the lives of the citizens in the city, in the county, and in the state. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tyler. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Wolfley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, thanks to you for coming in and uh, spending some time with us this morning and volunteering uh, perhaps to, uh, to provide some service to the community on an ongoing basis as well. Um, the uh, question I have for you uh, is, to date, how have you chosen to serve the city of Bowie? For example, have you served on a city committee, run for office, been on a homeowner association, PTA, or, or the like? Uh, and how will that help you represent your future constituents? Well, I've done a few of the, <laughs> the ladders that you made. I, I ran for office in the last election. Um, and I ran for office because I have been intimately involved um, in the senior community within District 3 over the past four plus years. Um, and, and by doing that, that has put me um, involved in that community. And I, um, I also, I haven't served officially on boards, but I've worked with my community associations. But my relationship and my work in the senior community is, is what kind of pushed me to, um, to run for office and to be here today. Um, I've, I've worked um, diligently with them in trying to make their lives a little bit easier uh, and, and maneuvering through the processes of the, of the day from having Thanksgiving dinner for them and being amazed that I have, you know, 60 seniors that have uh, no family that come to usually to Thanksgiving and, and I do the, the cooking and all that stuff for it and, and they enjoy it. I help them get wheelchairs, to get their wheelchairs that they haven't been able to get for two years that, you know, boggles my mind that the process is so tedious. So I've been in the community um, working specifically in District 3. My children um, have been raised here, born and raised, and, and where we went to the high school, so I intimately, I was a PTA president, and intimately involved in the education um, process here, so uh, that's been my involvement. Thank you very much. Mr. Stead. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this question is specific to District 3. The Sears location of Bowie Town Center is closing. The owners of the property are planning a mixed-use development on the site. What are your thoughts on the matter? Well, I was, um, I was very pleased the other uh, last week when I came out to um, the stakeholder meetings. I thought that uh, that was um, a, a, a very appropriate step in, in how we deal with um, development. Um, I think that development is, um, is good. Uh, there's, there's several things um, that we need to take into consideration as we're looking at development. Uh, I listened to um, the persons in the room and I, I, I believe that um, the project is a good project. I, I think that as, as long as we um, take those uh, concerns and, and gestures into um, consideration as we're deliberating on there, we have to do something um, with that space. Uh, I think it's already zoned as a uh, as a mall area, so bringing that kind of activity uh, is is a good thing. I think it would be a good thing uh, for Bowie, but uh, making sure that the infrastructure um, 
around that, that we have the proper services, the proper policing, uh, the, you know, the, the roads and, and all of that into consideration, I think is, is uh, you know, makes the project vital. Uh, Mr. Marcos. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And thank you, Ms. Styler, for being here today. Uh, my question deals with development also. You may have touched on some already, but how do you feel about going forward with residential and commercial development in Bowie? And what do you think the relationship between the county and Bowie should be regard in re with regards to development? Well, I think that, um, I think that we need both. You know, we, we, we definitely need to, to have business. And again, it puts us in a unique position to, to um, kind of mesh the two together because, you know, as, as we heard in the discussion, you know, people want suburban and, and people want, um, you know, different types of, of residential. And so how do we, and we need the, the, the also the business base here. And so um, I've always been a proponent for, you know, business and small business um, proponent. And I think that um, working together with the county on, uh, on the, the master plan that Bowie has is, is very important for us. I think that, that it's possible to do, you know, I know we go into a lot of, I've been around for a while that, uh, you know, we've talked about, you know, the ability of, of being able to control our own uh, zonings and things of that nature. And I am, um, you know, I'm a proponent of that. I never understood why we didn't have that kind of control. And, and so I'm not getting into all the, the nuances and politics of, of the why, but I think that um, we need to uh, work together with the county uh, to ensure that Bowie has that mixture that we need in order to continue to make it, um, you know, the number one place to live, which I've, I've read. And, and so that means that, um, that you are doing something right you know, if you um, are able to to be rated, you know, a good place for Bowie to live. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, uh, this, that's the end of the question, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to give us an idea what you thought you would like to leave with us. Well, I, um, I thank you, but I didn't open up with it. You know, I thank you for, you know, allowing uh, me the opportunity to come before you. I've... Uh, I worked in, in, in politics for over 25 years. I've been involved in, in the community. I've lived here, as I said, raised my children, loved Bowie. Um, and my activities over the last four years has really um, put me intimately in uh, the, the area of Bowie. And I, I believe that my experiences, that my experience um, that my commitment and dedication, that my constituent services, you know, all of the, um, all of my experiences will, will uh, add to uh, the team. Um, I'm a team player, I'm dedicated and, and um, I'm committed to what I do. So those that, that uh, do know me and have had a chance and opportunity to work with me, I am committed in constituent services is, is you know, one of my, my biggest um, assets, I believe. And so I think that, uh, that I would bring a good, um, a good mixture and uh, would love to have the opportunity to, to work with right. you. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your, 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 your commitment to coming here tonight or this morning. I appreciate your interest in sitting. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Tyler. Thank you very much for coming out here.